Physiology, the study of diseases or injury. This class is not easy, guys. The human body is complex and very complicated. Understanding how disease processes work require you to understand the human body. It's very easy and normal to feel dumb when you take this class. Little story here. Before I started nursing school, I actually thought the small intestines were what the pee went through. Then one day we studied kidneys and I found out, oh, the kidneys filter your blood and makes urine and the small intestines are part of the GI system, not the GU. So if you're feeling dumb, you're not alone, we've all been there. I did pass pathophysiology on my first try and it was one of my favorite classes. So I'm going to share with you guys how I passed pathophysiology. Let's get to it. First thing you should do is look at the syllabus and know where your points are most heavily set on. Then you want to know your teacher or professor's style of testing and teaching. For my nursing program, my tests were worth 80% of my grade, so it was very... Yikes. So anyway, it was important for me to get a grasp on what was going to be on those exams. Some professors will only have questions based off of what you learned in class, and some professors will take all 15 chapters that your section was on and test you on whatever could be on those 1,000 pages that you read. Thankfully, my pathophysiology professor tested me on the stuff that we learn in class. So I was able to know what to study. So now I'm going to tell you the number one strategy I did to pass pathophysiology. We were given the PowerPoints on what my teacher was teaching on that day and I would take notes on my computer on the pages of that PowerPoint. And that was how I took notes. Then I would take those notes that I took and create flashcards online on Quizlet based off what I learned in class. Then as I got closer to the exam date, I would go through those flashcards. I could either quiz myself or have someone else quiz me. I would say overall it was more fun to have someone else quiz me. Um, I remember there were plenty of nights where I would ask my husband to quiz me. Jared, can you quiz me? And he would be like, fine. It was just more fun to have someone else there with you. And here is really the key. The reason that I made flashcards as opposed to just studying and looking through my notes is that flashcards force you to quiz yourself. They force you to realize whether you actually know the material or not. Because it's very easy for me to look at notes, and I've done this before, it's very easy for me to look at my notes and think, oh yeah, I know this stuff. And then once I get to the exam, I realize, oh no. <laughs> so yes, I have made that mistake. Quizzing yourself also forces you to think and know what you understand and what you don't. I'm going to give an example. Let's say I learned about COPD and I took notes on it. This is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I'm using this example because it's the most common lung disease in the world. So I'm reading through my notes and they say symptoms include breathing difficulty, cough, sputum production, and wheezing. So you're going to look at these notes that you just read and you're going to think, yeah, I know that. I know it's a lung disease. I know it makes breathing difficult. I know this. I'm ready. But here's what happens when you make flashcards. Now, with this disease of COPD, I would make a flashcard that says, what are the symptoms of it and why? So now you quiz yourself or you have someone else quiz you what I just said, and I'm gonna think, okay, yeah, in my notes, the symptoms were difficulty breathing, sputum production, wheezing, lung stuff. But then my flashcard asked why. And now thinking back to nursing school, in my mind I would have been, okay, well it's a lung because the lungs, it's a lung disease because it affects the lungs. That's why you have those symptoms. Now you see I have just been forced to realize that I don't really know why. Okay, I do know why. I'm just giving the example of how I would have been before I learned 
why the why of COPD. I'm pretending I haven't gone through nursing school yet and I'm in pathophysiology, okay? So why is this patient having these symptoms? We know it is something to do with the lungs, but what? Because of the flashcards, you know what you don't know. This is just one example. With pathophysiology, with any disease, you want to know why and really get down to the nitty gritty. Why is the disease causing those symptoms? What are the risk factors? Okay, smoking is a risk factor for COPD, but why? Because it irritates the epithelium of the alveoli, alveoli making gas exchange more difficult for the body. My main point here to take away is that you want to quiz yourself. That pretty much sums up my main points about passing pathophysiology. It's not easy to pass this class. Like I said, it's complex. It wasn't easy for me to pass. I did have to put in time and effort because like I said, the body is very complex. It's crazy what we know today because of science about the body and it's like amazing. That's really why I enjoyed this class is it's just amazing how much detail we know nowadays down to the human cell. That detail. I really do find these diseases and understanding the human body very fascinating. So that's why I enjoyed it. So good luck to all of you and comment below if you have any other questions. Have a good week guys. See ya.